Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to check out the best death metal album of 1993 as voted by you guys in my discord server. So this is not my personal favorites or anything, so if you disagree with this list then make sure to join the discord server so that you can take part in my upcoming votes. And you can find a link to my discord server down in the description below. 1993 was a strange year for metal. Thrash and the more traditional styles was dying, but the underground death metal scene was unfazed by the changing of trends. So 1993 was another rather strong year for extreme metal. But before we get into today's video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already subbed up, because the 94 vote is coming up here sooner or later. And now it's time to check out the top 10 best death metal albums of 1993 as voted by you. In 10th place we have the Swedish death metal band Edge of Sanity with their album The Spectral Sorrows. And this was their third studio album and the first time that they entered our top 10 list. So let's listen to Dark Day by Edge of Sanity. In ninth place we have the American death metal band Cynic with their album Focus. And this is a progressive death metal classic. So let's listen to Veil of Maya by Cynic. <laughs> In 8th place we have Dissections, the Sombrelin, and these guys were from Sweden, and their sound can best be described as a mix of black and death metal. And now it's time to listen to the title track from the Sombrelin. <laughs>
In seventh place, we have another Swedish band in Necrophobic, and just like Dissection, these guys were also a death and black metal hybrid. The Nocturnal Silence was their debut album, so let's listen to the title track, The Nocturnal Silence. This we have Suffocation with Breathing the Spawn, and these guys won the 91 vote with Effigy of the Forgotten. Now they enter the top 10 with its follow up Breathing the Spawn. So let's spin the title track now. In fifth place were Death from Florida with individual thought patterns. And this was their fifth studio album, and over the last couple of years, Death had moved towards a more progressive death metal sound. And they always seemed to make it into our top 10 lists, so I expected to see them here once again. And now we're going to listen to the song Individual Thought Patterns from the album with the same name. In fourth place we have Gorguts from Canada with the album The Erosion of Sanity, which was their second studio album. And now we're going to listen to the title track from it. <laughs> In third place we have the British death metal band Carcass with their album Heartwork, which was a landmark album for the more melodic death metal genre. So let's spin Heartwork now.
In second place we have Demelik from Finland with their only full length studio album. And this one was a bit of a surprise to me that it ended up this high but I might have underestimated it. And now it's time for us to listen to When the Sun Drank the Weight of Water by Demelik. And the greatest death metal album of 1993, as voted by you guys in my Discord server, is Morbid Angels Covenant. And these guys won the combined 80s vote with Altars of Madness and Blessed of the Six scored high in our 91 vote. And once again they take home the win here, this time with Covenant. So let's listen to the best death metal album of 1993, according to you viewers. And here is our top 10 list, and this is an internet vote as I've mentioned already. And if you want to vote, then you should become a Patreon, and you can find the link to it down in the video description below. And we also have a ton of honorable mentions here, albums that you guys voted for, but they didn't make it into our top 10 list, like Brutality, At the Gates, Entombed, and Pestilence to name a few. And now I'm curious to hear about your favorite death metal albums of 1993. Did we miss any albums? And feel free to give us your top 10 list if you have one. It's always interesting to hear your feedback. And if you want to support my work so that I can continue doing this, then you should become a patron like the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I also have a merch store where you can get some cool t-shirts and mugs, if you rather show some support that way. And that's it folks, so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video, bye bye.